Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. International. How lovely is that? Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, all the way from the United Kingdom, we have Samuel Smith's Organic Strawberry. Now, this is a big old bottle. This is 550 milliliters, and for you here in the States, that's about 18 and a half ounces, a little bit more than that, and uh, this is quite good, I tell you. This is 5.1% uh, alcohol by volume. I don't know what the IPUs are. I think it would probably be negligible on a fruit beer, though. So I'll tell you what, this is uh, USDA organic certified, and so um, that means there's not a lot of uh, garbage in here. Garbage, like Target, it's garbage. I don't think I have a Sam Smith's bottle cap on the fridge. Back in the day, I loved Sam Smith's. Oh, man, good stuff. Uh, we're going to use this uh, glassware right here now. This is a 18-ounce glass, 18-and-a-half-ounce beer. We're not going to fit it in here because it's going to build up some lovely foam, as you shall see. And this is an etched glass anyway, so it's definitely going to build up. Uh, you see how it's building up to a crescendo there? Oh, man. <laughs> if you like strawberries, this is the beer for you. Now, this is not really a beer that I drink on a consistent basis. But during the summer months, I like to have a couple of these. They're, they're really good. Um, man, look at that color. That is. Uh, it looks like a rust color, doesn't it? But here in front of me, it's not really. It's more of a uh, a deep amber. Yeah. But you could call it rust if you like. Yeah, you can call it rust. Now, it did build up a uh, bit of a beige foam on it. Let's go ahead. We can make that right up to the top. And we still have some left over in the bottle, of course. Got some lightly carbonation streaming up from the bottom. And this is all malt and all strawberry. Mm. Now, if you don't like fruity beers, you may not like this. But if you like strawberries, you probably love this. So I'm going to thank the uh, brewers there in the UK. Uh, Tadcaster in North Yorkshire. Yeah, North Yorkshire. That's how you say it. Not in Shire. You don't say Yorkshire. Nor sure. North Yorkshire. Yeah. Don't let them think you're a Yankee. <laughs> anyway, many thanks to the brewers there, and thank you at home for watching. Cheers. Ooh, wait. <laughs> this beer right here, I wish I had somebody to share it with me, because it's going to take me the rest of the night to drink it. I'll have to put this in the refrigerator a few times and take it out, drink it, take it out. Yeah, it's going to be a process for this beer. Now, if you are going to put some food with this, of course, you could drink it uh, much easier. But if you're just drinking to drink, mm, it's going to take you a while. Hmm. This is a, a mighty fine beer. It's not sweet. It's not sweet because I've had American beers that have been brewed with strawberry puree or strawberry extract or strawberry whatever. And man, mm, they are just too sweet and I can't I can't do it. Uh, and I see some of those uh, seltzers now, especially ones that are brewed here in the States. Some of them are strawberry. Oh, my gosh, they're so sweet. I mm, can't do it. Now, if you're already three sheets to the wind, you may not notice it. But man, if for the first, if you're drinking the first beer of the day or the first seltzer and it's super sweet, that's going to make you sick, man. That's going to make you sick. 
Yeah, I don't care, man. It's just going to make you sick. But this beer is very easy drinking. Oh, man, that aroma. But you got, here's the catch. If you don't like strawberries, it's going to be it's going to be difficult for you. But if you're a strawberry lover like I am, you're going to love this beer. The key to this beer is to keep sipping at it. You know, don't try to drink it straight away. It's not going to work out. Now, if you try to drink this straight away, you're going to be sorry. But anyway, Samuel Smith has a full range of beers, and this is just one of them. I'll be showcasing some more. He's got the uh, organic chocolate stout, which I've got in the fridge. And, man, that is really lovely. If you're a chocolate lover, you have to love that beer. Yeah. But it's a dessert beer. And that's what I would classify this as, as a dessert beer. This would be a digestive. After you're all finished with your meal, you know, split this bottle. You can split this bottle with a few friends. Uh, you know, have everybody have uh, four ounces and you split it with four people. Yeah, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. But one bottle for one person, yeah, it's stretching. That's why I said it's going to take me a while to finish this. All right, my friends, this is a light body beer. I would say this is medium body, though. It's got It's got some mouthfeel to it. And uh, the carbonation is light to medium on this beer. It's a decent beer, though. If you've never had it and you like strawberries, give it a shot. I would just recommend that you have somebody there to help you drink that bottle because that's an awful lot to drink for one person. All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. And until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. 
And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. there's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.